Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to another Bratz doll review. I'm very excited to have the reproduction of this Tiana doll in hand. I want to say that the line she was originally from was like, welcome to fabulous or something like that. I'll put it on screen if I'm incorrect here, but I'm so excited they decided to reproduce this Tiana doll. When I was younger, I didn't have the doll proper, but I did have this shirt and this pair of pants that she's wearing as like her first outfit. So I'm really, really excited to have like a more complete version of her today. She's definitely the one from this like round of releases of Bratz Reproductions that I was most excited for. So of course she was the first one that I grabbed. She does have two outfits. You can see her wearing one and then one off to the side here. And then on the back, we've got a little bit of art and then some like information about Tiana. I will say preemptively, I am a little bit nervous just because you can definitely see in the art how red her pants are. And I think in the original version, if my memory is not failing me today, <laughs> I think her pants were more red and they look a little bit pink in box. Not sure if that's going to be something that bothers me or not. I'm going to have to unbox her to tell. So like, you know, just a little bit of apprehension there, but mostly I'm very, very excited. As usual, I'm going to go ahead and unbox her off camera and then we will like come back together to talk about all of her details and look at all of her outfits and stuff. If you guys do find yourself enjoying the video, if you could give it a like, that's super helpful to me. And then if you're new here and you enjoy your time, definitely subscribe so you can see more. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take her out of box and then we will be able to discuss her and all of her lovely little accessories and hopefully just have a great time. So I will see you guys in a second. Alrighty, I got Tiana all unboxed here. She is facing the wall because we have to go over like the stuff that she comes with first. Sorry, girl, we're gonna get to you in a second here. So the first thing I can't show you like super, super well, but I will put in a picture so that you can see better. It does come with a little like Bratz poster with all of the dolls from this wave of reproductions, except the boy. Um, I don't know if that's because he's like technically separate but he's not included here. Like I said, though, I'll put like a proper picture so that you can see it better instead of just seeing little bitty sections. And then she does come with this type of Bratz brush, which I'm very used to like the star shaped Bratz brush. So this is different for me. It doesn't like particularly matter. I'm not a connoisseur of doll brushes. I'm not upset. It's just kind of interesting because I'm not like super up on Bratz history. So I don't know if that's something that they used to do and like the star came later or what the situation is but like it, it doesn't matter <laughs> uh, then we're gonna get to her second outfit i will put it on her later in the video so that we can see how it looks on the doll but for now we're just gonna go over the pieces so first of all we've got some like kind of translucent red sunglasses they're pretty simple but i do think that they're gonna be cute on her so i'm excited to get to that and then we have this cute little crop top that's got like red sparkles running through it. Also, my nails match. Unintentional, but very fun. <laughs> and then the straps have like painted on studs. There's a little Velcro strap in the back. Then we have a denim skirt. And then there's like this belt that is sewn on that is very interesting. I think like this big charm is pretty fun. It's so fascinating to me because there's also pink painted on like the edge of the charm. There's a lot of like pink and red going on with this doll. And I know I mentioned these pants back here in the intro. I do think that, like, I prefer the true red. We'll get into that in a little bit, though. I just think it's interesting that there's also, like, pink going on here. But I do think this is, like, a very cute piece. And I am curious to see how this is all going to look on her. And then the shoes that she has for her second outfit are these boots here. Again, pretty simple, but I think that they are going to look quite nice. So then we can get into the doll proper. So taking a look at her face, I love the vibrant red lip. I just think that is super, super cute. The eye makeup is like shockingly simple. I don't know, just with a outfit this daring and exciting, I think I would have expected something more. That's not a complaint though. I do think that she looks really pretty. I guess I'm just surprised that Bratz went with this design, but like, I'm definitely not complaining. I feel like she looks so good. <laughs> She's obviously got the heavily gelled bangs here. We have a couple of earrings and then I don't know why, because like in my head, this could have just been a regular ponytail, but there's like a part here and then it's super like heavily slicked. And then there's like a couple of different rubber bands holding this style together. I don't know. Very confusing. If you saw my review that I did recently on Chloe from the Pretty and Punk reproductions, 
her doll had very soft hair in the portions that weren't gelled and i feel the same way about this tiana like these ends back here that aren't gelled feel really really nice i am going to when i put her in her second outfit i'll take down the hair so that we can check the rooting because that's going to be like a whole process <laughs> just because it is so gelled and i'm definitely going to want to redo this since it's like so heavy and gel so i'll go ahead and take this down later so we can check the rooting but for now that's what the hair is looking like and then i guess i'll take off the coat so that we can see this a little bit better hold on one thing about dolls that have like less arm articulation that i will say like i'm an articulation fan most of the time i prefer my dolls to have as much articulation as possible it is so easy to slide stuff like this off though <laughs> like this just came off and you know on like a monster high doll it would have gotten snagged on their joints and stuff that's not obviously an insult to monster high but just one of the benefits of having like less articulated dolls is that i feel like their clothing can sometimes go on a bit easier anyway though this is her very extravagant fur jacket i do think i'm gonna end up washing this as well i don't know if it's something that's intentional or if it was just something from like the hair or the way it was packaged but it does feel like there's gel in the front as well and it's just like a little bit unpleasant to touch the back feels fine it's not like particularly soft it's not the most soft that i've ever felt but it feels fine. It's just the front feels like really gross with the gel. So I'm probably going to fix that. But afterwards, I think it'll be a fun, like extravagant piece for her. And it is just like lined with mesh on the inside. So pretty solid there. Back to the doll. <laughs> so she's got this like halter top that ties on the top and then Velcros like around her um, midsection. I think this is so fun. I do think I need to like try to weigh it down with some water and like press it into place because it's kind of popping up. But I just love the look of this shirt. Part of that is probably the nostalgia. <laughs> like I'm willing to admit that. But I just think it's so cute. The uh, material underneath is sheer mesh and then she's got more of like the painted studs. And I just think it's so fun. It's different and exciting and it looks really, really cute on her. And then the pants. I feel like this is like the big thing for me to talk about. First of all, I did think that like I had accidentally broken mine just because the way the belt is sewn, it's kind of less intense on this side, but this buckle piece is completely separate from the strap. So like there's a little bit of a gap on this side that you can see. The gap on this side is m much bigger and I did think that I accidentally cut the belt, but it's just sewn that way. Like the buckle is sewn on completely separate from the rest. I think depending on how you have her displayed and how you have her seated, it's not like the biggest deal. I didn't even notice it in the store when I was picking her out. So it obviously wasn't like enough to catch my attention right away. But if that is something that's going to bother you, if you can look for these dolls in store, definitely kind of check that out because I imagine that some of them are better than others, just like some faces are better than others. So just kind of pointing that out in case it's something that will bother you guys. And then the color. Okay. <laughs> I, I can't decide because I do think that in person, they read less pink than they did when I saw like stock photos and stuff of this doll. Just a real quick editing interjection here. The pants do look very pink now that I'm seeing the footage here. It's, it's just really weird how the color is because in photos, I feel like it looked really, really pink. And then looking at my footage, it looks really pink. In person, it is definitely still not the true red. Like if you want to use my nails as the reference here, since they very handily match, they aren't that color of red at all, but they are a little less pink than they appear in the footage. I hope that I can explain that well enough to like help you guys out. It's a very strange color, but yeah, just know that the footage is not like 100% color accurate. The actual fabric isn't like too terribly pink, but the metallic stuff on top is like almost a pinkish purple. And I think that that is skewing like the overall tone that the pants appear to be. I don't know. Cause I think like by themselves, even just this, I think is fine, but she's got the red and the hair and the lips. And it's like a very true red, like this shirt is. And I just feel like I kind of wish the pants were a little bit more red, but it's not terrible. It's not as bad as I was like afraid it was going to be. Obviously I bought her. So obviously I wasn't that upset when I saw stock photos online. I was a little bit nervous about it. And then when I saw her in store, I thought that she would be worth it regardless. So if anyone else was having that like wonder about the pants, again, I would urge you if you are able to, to look in store, 
but I don't think that they're as bad as I thought they would be. I might be alone. I might be the only person who cares about that. But yeah, aside from the color, I do think that they're pretty soft. They're like a very stretchy material. There also is like a, a silver stud painting down the side. It's kind of hard to see just because of the metallic. <laughs> like it kind of gets lost, but it's cute. And I do like the cut of them. I feel like they're really, really cute. I've got one little loose thread back here, but it's not terrible. And then the shoes that she currently has on are just some black strappy heels. So that is most of what I have to say about this Tiana doll. I am going to go ahead and take down her hair so we can check the rooting and put her in her second outfit real quick so we can like see how that looks. And then we'll just do final thoughts and wrap up. So give me one moment. Alrighty, so this is outfit number two on her. And honestly, like, this is so much cuter than I thought it would be. Not that I thought it would be ugly, but outfit number one was definitely what drew me in. And like the pieces that I had as a kid are what drew me in. This is shockingly a contender for my favorite outfit out of the two. I thought outfit number one would be the clear winner, but this is actually so cute. Like the boots are nice. The skirt is cute. Although I still wish that these little guys were red. I do think it would match better with the top if they were red instead of pink. And I think she maybe needs like a necklace with this look, but it's so cute. Um, I did take her hair down. Not that you can super tell because it's just so gelled that it's like still kind of in there. But now we can dig through and hopefully check out how the rooting is. Maybe. Wow. Okay, there we go. So it's interesting because to me that looks like pretty standard. I'm trying to get to the other side because it's interesting because I'm having such a hard time getting to her scalp. Like there feels like there's so much hair. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty standard. It feels like more hair than it actually is, I guess, but that's a good problem to have. I would definitely rather it feel like more hair than it is than, you know, the opposite problem. So even though her hair is a little messed up, that's how we're going to round out the video. I will be fixing her hair and like posting pictures and stuff on my Instagram. So if you want to check that out, feel free. Um, she will not, you know, stay <laughs> like this with her hair in this state. I promise I will fix it up. Oh, and I also, I forgot I have to put the sunglasses on her. Oh, yeah. See, they're so simple, but they're so cute. Wow. All right, so final thoughts. Um, I think my favorite thing is that I do like each piece individually. I think both shoes are very simple. Like they're just black heels and then black boots, but they are nice. And you know, if you have a lot of other Bratz dolls, they're good because if you like to mix and match, these are very mix and matchable. Assuming you have Bratz dolls that have the same skin tone, because that's like the one thing with the Bratz feet is that like if I also bought Felicia and wanted her to have heels, I could not give her these heels unless I repainted them. Uh, but that's an aside. That's just like a breast thing. <laughs> um, what I was saying is I like each individual piece. I like the skirt. I like the shirt. I like all of the pieces from her first outfit. But it ties in directly to my least favorite thing, which is even though it bothers me less than I thought it would, even though the difference is less than I thought it would, I really do wish that everything was red themed instead of it having red and pink elements. I just feel like it would have been more cohesive and you could have mixed and matched the pieces in this look more easily. Because like these pants, I don't feel like would look right with this shirt. Maybe that's just me. That is a big thing is that my least favorite thing being the color choices is very personal. You might be someone who looks at this and is super thrilled that the pants have more of a pink heel or that her belt has pink painted on there instead of red. So it's my personally favorite thing, but I don't necessarily think it's something for me to complain about, you know, because it is so personal. I can't say this color is objectively bad because everyone has different thoughts and feelings about that. I guess my overall thoughts are that I do like her. I am happy that I have her. I think... I was so excited to unbox Chloe from Pretty in Punk, the last Bratz doll that I opened, that I was kind of hoping for that experience again. And I am just a little bit less excited than I thought I would be. I hope that makes sense because it's not that I regret her or that I'm upset to have her. I'm going to redo her hair and I might honestly paint the like over the pink and make it red and I'll fix it myself. And then I'll be very, very happy. So like, I think that I will love this doll and I do like her right now. 
I'm just less excited about her than I have been about other dolls that I've been reviewing lately and specifically other brats that I have gotten. So I don't know where that leaves us. <laughs> it's definitely not something that I think is bad. I wouldn't say I have any quality issues with my Tiana. So you know, that's the big thing to tell you guys is that I don't think there's any quality problems. You've seen all the pieces, so you can make your own decisions about like the colors and definitely let me know in the comments what you think about the colors. Um, overall, you know, she's not my favorite doll that I've unboxed this year, but I do still like her. And that's honestly the most that I can ask for. Sometimes I do these like unboxings and I get really, really disappointed and I don't have that feeling. So at the end of the day, I am still happy with this purchase. Um, but yeah, I would love to know what you guys think of her, if you have also bought her, or like if you're thinking about it. As always, I do have my Instagram and then my TikTok linked in the description down below. And I also have my Amazon wish list down there. So if you want to like find me on other platforms or support me in other ways, you can definitely check those things out. But yeah, that is going to be it for today. I do hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.